This podcast is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as legal advice. What's up, everybody? My name is Justin Collins, and this is the Bombay 51 Show. Boom! Before we jump into it, here's a word from our sponsors. Twixcredit.com. Discover the secrets to access hundreds of thousands of dollars in business funding. Created by Jason Oswald and co-founded by Steve Super. The Twix Business Credit course offers education modules that are constantly being updated, Facebook community group with other like-minded business owners, group coaching sessions, as well as one-on-one coaching sessions. And last and definitely not least, a $10,000 open line of credit that will extend to $100,000 by the end of 2022. Be sure to check out the link in the description. What's up, everybody? This is the Bombay 51 Show, a podcast where we talk about money. I'm not talking about just cash and moolah. I'm talking about credit. I'm not talking about regular personal credit. We talking about business credit. Now, why talk about business credit over personal credit over cash dollars? You ask any real business mogul, any real finance mogul, anybody that actually knows anything about money and the economy, they will tell you the key to being rich is having money. The key to having wealth is having credit. That means it's not always about how much cash do you have on hand or how much cash you have coming in. That means how much money is the bank willing to give you? So the difference is I got a million dollars on hand, but the bank won't give me nothing. That means you're only worth a million dollars. Now let's say I got a million dollars on hand, but the bank is willing to give me $10 million. Now my net worth is exponential. See what I mean? All right, cool. Now that we understand why we're talking about, you know, credit over cash, you know, what's why would we discuss business credit over personal credit? Well, personal credit is tied to your social security number and it kind of works, you know, a different way. You buy something with credit, you make the payments on time, your credit score goes up. But if you mess something up, credit score goes down and it's really difficult to fix. Now, business credit, on the other hand, is a little bit different. Now, if you buy your business credit is attached to your EIN number. And if you buy something with business credit, it's not about necessarily making the payments on time. You should definitely make your payments on time. But it's also about how fast you pay those payments off. That's when we get into net 30, 60 and 90 accounts. But but before we get into all that, let's make sure we understand the difference between business credit and personal credit. Business credit is attached to your EIN and means that your business entity, which is separate from you, is liable. So if something happens, it's all in your business versus it being on your personal credit that's attached to your social security number. And if something happens, it's all on you. Now we understand why we're so excited about business credit. Let me expand on that just for a second. Why business credit is so important these days. In 2020, we watched the entire planet shut down. Anywhere from corporations, hospitals, McDonald's, but I knew it was real when Waffle House shut down. It looked like the country was heading into like a depression, recession, or everything was down here. The stock market was everywhere. But without the uh, stimulus checks and uh, the government stepped in, a lot of companies would have went under. It was just a whole lot of craziness. But another crazy thing that happened in the pandemic was the most millionaires ever recorded were also made. How is that? And I don't mean people made a million dollars. I mean, new millionaires were created. So people established businesses and scaled them to a million dollars during the pandemic. Well, how do I do that? Oh my God, this guy is against nine to five jobs and wants everybody to quit their jobs and all go into business for themselves and nobody's gonna be working nowhere. That's not what I'm saying. Nothing against having a nine to five job. Well, me, me personally, I'm never clocking in for anybody else ever again. That's just either either that. That's that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's time for everybody to have multiple incomes. So you should establish your own business on the side or full time to have multiple incomes and streams of revenues to pass down to your children. That's all I'm saying. So what's that you say? How do you establish business credit? Now we're getting down to what we like to call here in the economic business South, the nitty gritty. So let's set the equation up. Square one, start a business, grow the business, establish business credit, grow the business credit, get funding for your business, invest it into your business, expand your business even more, teach your kids how to do it and take over or do the same things for themselves. And then we establish generational wealth all because we took the time out to learn about business credit and how to establish a business properly. Okay, so how do you know if you're on the right track? How do you know where to start? How do I know what to do with the tips and tricks? Well, that is what this podcast is for. 
to give you some of the tips and tricks and ins and outs of what to do. And be mindful, all the information I know comes from the educational platform of the company from 2xcredit.com. I enrolled in their course, went through it, I learned everything that they had to teach. I established my own business, Calumny Inc. I'm building my own business credit and I'm getting ready to go to the banks, ask them for $1 million. Well, what all comes with the 2S credit business credit system? You get the course with all the modules that they're constantly adding to. You get into the Facebook group that has other business owners and other people who are going through the course. You get the coaching calls, you can dial into and have a coaching session with you and some of the other members that are also in the system and ask all the questions that you have. Also schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if needed. And number five, this is the big one. They give you a $10,000 line of credit. What does that mean? That means to the bank, if you were to go in a petition for a business loan, they would open up your business credit and see that you have a $10,000 line of credit open and in good standing with this company. So that means that your starting line of credit will be more of the $10,000-ish range instead of going for your first one and they only offer you $500. However, one thing you need to know that the $10,000 line of credit will be increasing to $100,000 by the end of 2022. So you get the course. You get access to the Facebook group. You get the coaching calls. You get the one-on-one -on -one calls. And you get the open line of credit. Sounds like a win-win to me. If you want more information about the 2S credit system, check the link in the description. Well, uh, since we established a direction that this podcast is going to go, we're going to be talking about money, not just money. We're going to be talking about credit, not just credit. We're going to be talking about business credit. And with business credit, we're going to be discussing the tips and tricks that I've learned from the 2S credit system. So tune in. Make sure you like subscribe, and hit the bell. Be on the lookout every Friday for our Financial Friday videos. You can follow me on LinkedIn at Justin Calamies as well as Facebook with Justin Calamies. Follow our business page at Calamies Incorporated on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at Bombay51 as well as Instagram at Bombay51. That's B-O-M-B-B-A-Y, number five, number one. All one word. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Peace.